So what's the difference between generations science and apologia science? We're going to take a look at these two curriculums today and I'm going to help you compare them both so you can make a better decision when it's time to purchase your next science curriculum. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today I'm going to do a curriculum comparison between Generations and Apologia. Now, I have used both of these companies. I love both of these companies, and if you asked me which one I would go with or which one I favor over the other, I can't really give you a definitive answer on that because I love and use them both. There are some real differences, though, between these two books and how they operate and I want to go over that. I'm gonna try my best to be really just unbiased because I love both of them. So I'm not talking one up and putting one down. Honestly, I think they're both great. It's just really what is going to fit your family's needs better. All right, so I got my coffee. Go grab your coffee. We're gonna do a coffee and curriculum real quick. And hopefully this is gonna be a really helpful video for you, especially because we are entering the curriculum buying season right now and a lot of people are doing some research. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be really helpful for you as you go shopping. All right, so I got my notes over here. I spent like the whole night going over the differences between these two. So I'm gonna start with the way things are the same between the two of them. So you understand that these things are the same between both. So I'm not like repeating myself between the two companies, all right? Okay, so obviously the most important thing is worldview. Both of these companies come from a creation standpoint worldview. So while yes, you will learn about Darwinism, you're not going to learn that Darwinism is the standard either. So God's word is the standard between both of these worldviews and you're gonna come from a creation worldview standpoint. The other thing that I wanna point out is that both of them can be used over multiple grades. So they each have on their website a group for elementary, a group for middle, and a group for high school. Now, with the small exception of generations in one area. So I'm gonna explain what this means. <laughs> So when you go to Apologia's website, you're going to find elementary science. And basically you can pick from a ton of different things. So there's everything from anatomy to uh, botany and things like that, zoology. My son did all three zoologies. He absolutely loved it. I think that's really um, helped him figure out what he wants to do in life. And Generations is kind of the same. They have, you know, elementary science. And while Generations has like suggested grades at the top, you can, however, use them for pretty much all elementary. Although some of them are written for more advanced elementary. So you're gonna have like lower elementary and you'll have like higher elementary, but really you can use them for whatever grade you want just be aware that you might have to um, help with some sentencing, if that makes sense. So the next thing I wanna point out is both of them can be used for a wide variety of grades. They kind of have like a lower elementary, higher elementary, middle and high school. So you can kind of go between a lot of these different um, you know, subjects and curriculum that they have, depending on where your child is at. They have suggestions. Both of them suggest like a, a schedule of them. So both of them have like suggestions for like first grade all the way through, you know, to the end. But you have a lot of flexibility with how you pick those out, which is great. You can also do them family style. So as long as you have a workbook for each child or a notebook for each child, you should be able to complete this with multiple children spanning multiple grades as long as you don't have you know your high schooler trying to do like an elementary science you know use common sense both of them also have book extras now generations has book extras and you will find them like within the lessons like it'll tell you where to go where apologia has them at the front of the book so they're in different locations but they both do have um, extras and things like that that you can buy. All right, so let's get to how they are different and I'm gonna start with Generations. Okay, so Generations, we've used, we used their science at the end of the year last year for a couple of months and we used, oh, 
oops, almost dropped it. We use this one here, the God Made Life. This is like a biology type of science, and this is suggested for grades six through eight. So this is a middle grade science. And this one comes with two books. So you're gonna have the uh, student workbook, which is also the teacher book. Everything's kind of all in one here. And the answer keys and things like that are in here too. And then you have God Made Life textbook. So it's this thin, so you can kind of see what I'm looking at here. It's kind of small, but it works, it's great. Uh, the pages are glossy, the images are wonderful in it. This is a great set. And I believe I paid around $60 for it. Now, don't use that as a hard line thing if you're watching this five years from now and it's like 75, don't come after me. Okay, you know, the economy changes and you know, there's price fluctuations and things like that, but it was relatively cheap to purchase. So with generations, generally you're gonna have shorter lessons at least for this science here. Now, Generations does not have high school science yet, okay? So I believe this is the last one that they have, but they keep adding things every single year. So at the time of this filming, this is the last science. So they don't have high school science yet. And I'm filming this in spring of 2024 and watch in fall of 2024, they might come out with high school science. I don't know. I'm just saying right now at time of filming, they don't have it. So they do have a separate workbook and your student is going to just do all the lessons right here in this notebook. And inside they have your schedule and everything. Everything is broken down where you can check it off and you're going to do this science between one and three times a week depending on the schedule. So that is a good overview of the basics of that curriculum. There is a smaller price point with this one. Now, I'm not saying that that's good or bad. I'm just saying the facts. This one is a little bit cheaper than Apologia. There are more parts to Apologia and I will get to that in the next section where we talk about Apologia. So this one has a smaller price point. So if you're buying for multiple kids, you know, keep that in mind. There is a smaller price point here. They do not have lab reports in this one but they do have science experiments. But these science experiments that they have in at least this book here, now I can't speak for the other books because I haven't used them, but at least in this book here for the middle grade science, it's more like life applications. So like one of the experiments that I saw was like a life application, take your kids hunting and fishing. It's more, it's, it's less like science experiment in the traditional sense and more like this is how we live this thing out type of statement. And they don't really call them science experiments. It says do at the top. So these are things that you can do to apply, you know, what you have learned in the lesson about animals and people and things like that. So like in the, so for example, in the lesson about food, where they're talking more about nutrition because this is this is a uh, life science slash biology type of course. One of the things that they suggest in the do category is um, examining your food and um, kind of like keeping like a food journal where you have fruit, protein, vegetables, grains, and dairy and having the children kind of like notebook that and see where they fall. Um, another one is researching their own country things like that. So it's, these are more like life applications rather than science experiments in the traditional sense. So that's why I say you don't really need lab reports in the traditional sense like you would in Apologia because we're not doing traditional types of science experiments in this particular curriculum. So that is my overview of God Made Life. Now let's look at how Apologia is different from generation science and there there are a lot of differences so stay with me so first you're going to notice volume with apologia there is a lot more with apologia this is kind of the basics of the apologia curriculum here so we're going to have your textbook we're going to have the student notebook you're going to have the solutions guide so this is the answer this the answer key for everything and then you have the tests now, some of that stuff is inside of here. 
so I think like the study guides and things like that are inside of this textbook however we found it so much easier just to use these two right here it keeps it so much more organized for me and I know exactly where it's at I don't have to flip around for it the textbook in comparison is bigger so putting them on top of one another there are a couple inches all around and it is quite a bit thicker so this is how big the textbook is there are 14 lessons in this book my son is on lesson 14 right now and there are i'm going to tell you how many weeks there are in this course 33 weeks in apologia versus 36 Six, 35 okay so week 35 in in generations you complete the final exam they have an extra 36 week down here but it's blank so this one spans over 35 weeks doing one to to three science lessons a week this one is four days a week for 33 weeks so we and my my son is currently in this class right now so I feel like I'm probably know a lot more about this course. This course is very in-depth and what I would consider to be more of an advanced placement slash AP type of course. This is definitely like a more honors course, especially when you get to high school sciences. Apologia is notorious for being more, um, more like an honor, uh, more like an honor slash AP type of science course. It is very in-depth, it is very thorough, and um, yeah, Apologia is really the king of, of science courses. I will give them that. They are, th this is what they do. This is their specialty. Another thing that I wanna mention too, there are tons of extras that you can get with this. You can get live facilitated courses if you want, where like it's taught by a live instructor and they have like class meetings and things like that. You can also get what we love for the high school is um, the thumb drives. I have talked about these in other videos and things like that. We have the thumb drive for all of the science high school courses that my oldest has done. The science experiments are recorded live with the author or with someone from Apologia uh, on these thumb drives. So if you don't have the materials or you don't have the means to even do some of these science experiments um, or if maybe yours didn't work out, you can see what it's supposed to look like. Sometimes I like to put it on while we're doing the experiment just to make sure that we're doing it right because I'm not a science major. These, and th this is a very difficult sometimes science course. So a lot of times it just makes me feel a little bit more confident to go through it with the instructor and with the writer of this curriculum to see what it's supposed to look like to make sure that I did it right. Now. I typically buy those secondhand, but you can get them secondhand, you can get them on their store website, you can get them wherever. Like they have so many different things that you can get. They also have lab kits, and Generations doesn't have lab kits for, because they, you know, their science experiments are a little bit different, but I actually buy lab kits with all of the modules, um, like in separate baggies within this big box. And then all of the science experiment materials are inside of that box. And then, you know, when we start a new module, I just pick up the bag that's in there that has the number of the lesson that we're on and we're ready to go. So it makes it so much easier for me to do that. I'll leave the link down below where I buy my science kits and you can go check those out. So their science experiments are more traditional in a sense. So kind of think when you were back in high school, if you went to a public school like me and you had like a chemistry class, it's going to be the same types of experiments. And there's going to be step-by-step -step directions within the textbook and within the lab report. And that's the other thing that I wanted to show you was this big notebook here. <laughs> so not only are your lab reports in here, but all of the things for your actual assignments are going to be in here. So this book is just for reading, just like um, the Generations book. Your textbook is just for reading. This is where all the assignments are for your day. So you're gonna open this up, you're going to flip to whatever module you're on, and you're going to go through the actual lesson. And in the back, they have lab reports. So 
There's actual lab reports for your kids to fill out in a traditional sense. It makes them feel like little scientists. It's really cool. Um, my son always fills out his lab reports and that's actually how they get their lab grade in high school. So in high school, that's how I grade their lab whether or not they did the experiment. And there's like a whole um, grading scale and rubric in here where you can actually go through the whole thing and you can read through how to grade science experiments, how to grade the course, all of that. It's very in-depth. Highly recommend if you get Apologia, go read all of the pages at the beginning of the notebook so you fully understand what this course entails. Now, because this comes with so much more, obviously the price point is going to be higher with Apologia. I mean, just volume wise, there's just a lot more. Um, when you look at the size of the notebook, I mean, this is the size of the generation notebook. This is the size of the Apologia notebook. It won't even stand up straight. So yes, the price point is higher with this, but if you have a child going into a science major like I do, you know, you might want to take that into consideration. So there is a lot here but it depends on what's going to be the best for your family. So the tests are also inside of here. So at the end of each module, you're gonna have a test and you're just gonna, you, they, there's a study guide. So they do the study guide and then they do the test the following day. Um, it's, it's really easy to follow. Both, both of these curriculums have a really great schedule, easy to follow, easy for the parents. I don't feel like either one of them puts a burden on me. I feel like, you know, yes, the kids are doing all the work, but I enjoy reading both of these textbooks. I enjoy reading along with my kids. I learn plenty with both of them. I think these are both great options for your kids. I don't see one is better for the other. I just see what's going to fit the family the best. So I think both of them are great. They have a great biblical worldview. They both teach creation standpoint. Um, there's nothing that I have found worrisome in either book. And I have read a lot of science books over the years. We are on year nine, I think, upcoming of, of, of uh, homeschooling. So yeah, I've read a lot of science books. I have two kids who are in two completely different grades that I really can't school together. So I've done two science curriculums for eight years. <laughs> so I've read a lot of science books. Um, Apologia has great resources, so does Generations. It really just depends on what is going to fit your family budget and what is going to fit your family and what, you know, just basically what your needs are. So both of them are great options for you. I wanted to kind of give you a side-by-side -side comparison of both of them. Their textbooks are both great. I have found no problems in e either one of them. The photography is wonderful. Both of them are newer types of books too. So, um, and Apologia is uh, coming out with the new physical science this year, which is actually the book that is after this one. And I'm probably gonna buy it for next year because there is no um, generation science for my son after this one. So I don't know, like I'm, I'm debating between the two. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. So um, stay tuned on my channel for that, you know? But both of them are fantastic options. You can't go wrong with either one of them. I think that they are both wonderful. So I hope that that maybe helps clear up some things, some differences between the two books and um, their, all of their parts and how they work and operate. And hopefully this will help you make a decision for your family. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know down below, is there two different brands that you want me to um, compare and contrast for you on something else that I use in my homeschool? Let me know and I will hopefully get a video up for that. I have another one for history. I have a, I have a bunch of different comparison videos on my channel. So let me know down below in the comments if you have a suggestion. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy homeschooling.